guys, Larissa with Bicozi.net is here. Today I would like to show you how to make this uh, gorgeous uh, merino wool blanket. And uh, we will be using uh, ivory merino wool, Bicozi merino wool. We have 26 colors available at Bicozi.net. But for this one we will be using ivory. It's, uh, I believe it's the most beautiful color because it matches everything. The size of this blanket will be 30 by 50. And uh, in the next uh, shot I will show you the size, how it will look on the couch or when you are sitting on the couch and you're covering your body with it. So if you're ready, uh, we will need 4 pounds of merino wool and ivory and we will be using the simple knitting stitch. Let's get started! So guys, here is the size of blanket that we just uh, we will be making, 30 by 50. You can see that it will be covering your leg from the toes up to your waist area. So this is the size. Okay guys, let's get started. So uh, this, this is how yarn should be uh, laying in front of you on the table. You can use uh, uh, any surface, uh, like kitchen table or desk. Some people doing it on the floor. So this will be the tail of the yarn and this will be walking yarn. Tail is always on the left. Then you're placing the yarn on the top like that, making a loop, inserting your hand inside, grab walking yarn and pull it through. So this is your first stitch and the first stitch will be uh, about, it's probably a good four uh, and a half inches here or about four inches and we will keep it this way. And now you insert in your hand inside, grab walking yarn, pull it through and make the second stitch. Uh, this is casting on guys and casting on uh, this way is the easiest way you can imagine. Um, it's the best way for hand knitting. So you uh, now using your right hand, insert your hand, grab walking yarn, pull it out. Insert your hand, grab walking yarn, pull it out. So people who can crochet, they can tell that this is a way uh, of casting on for crocheting. But we are using this hand knitting uh, cast uh, on for uh, hand knitting a blanket and our blanket will be 30 by 50 okay so for 30 by 50 you will need to cast on 12 stitches guys okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12. Keep your stitches the same size guys like this pretty big. They should be a little bit bigger on casting on than uh, when you are knitting and this way your blanket will be the same length on, on the bottom as uh, on the top. If you make these stitches casting on too uh, small the blanket will look like that. So what we do now we have 12 stitches and now we are turning the, this chain on another side and we will be knitting our first row. We will be using these knots in the middle of every stitch and this is our first stitch. We're keeping it here. We are lifting this knot and inserting our hand underneath, grabbing working yarn and pull it out. The same with this uh, stitch guys, this is the stitch, this is the knot in the middle, lift it, insert your hand, grab walking yarn, pull it out. The same for all 12 stitches. We're pulling through the first row. Uh, I receive a lot of questions how to know how many stitches to cast on. It's very easy guys, use the divider 2.5. This is divider for Bicozi merino wool, uh, because our merino wool is pretty thick if you can see. It's about two and a half inches thick, so uh, if you need a blanket 30 by 50, 
30 is the width of your blanket then you are dividing 30 by 2.5 and that will give you 12 stitches so our first row is ready guys so now uh, our working yarn will be laying in the direction we will be knitting now so we're knitting the same way it's just laying in front of us uh, we are inserting our hand grab working yarn and pull it out so the same technique that we're using this way only now I'm using my left hand and you can use your right hand it's fine too it's just you can do like that see with the right hand insert your hand grab working yarn and pull it out that's fine too uh, for me it's easier to use my left hand when I'm knitting from left to the right and to use my right hand when I'm I am knitting from the right to the left. Make sure your yarn is uh, loose, you have good access, uh, easy access to it. This way the yarn will not be pulled because merino wool is gentle yarn and uh, it might break if you pull it really hard and uh, ivory color is uh, practically not processed because it's a natural color of the sheep so this yarn is the strongest between all the other colors and this yarn is usually the thickest too so you see we are done with our first uh, I mean the second row and what we are doing now our working yarn goes on the left as I said we usually keep working yarn in the direction uh, where we will be knitting so now we will be knitting from right to the left I usually skip knitting the first stitch and the reason I'm doing it because that will give you a beautiful chain on the side so insert your hand grab working yarn pull it out keep your stitches uh, pretty big guys and preferably the same size if you like to knit tighter it's fine you can knit tighter stitches you just need to know when you knit it tighter you will need more wool for the same size of the blanket so if I'm knitting pretty loose here you can see my stitches about 3.5 almost 4 inches and my blanket will be 30 by 50 if you knit tighter you will need at least half a more pound of the wool so here again this is the first stitch and I am skipping the first stitch and then I'm starting with the second one so we're knitting our last stitch see this chain on the side uh, uh, except of having a chain on the side when you're skipping the first stitch the blanket will no, also not be curly if you're skipping the first stitch it's not uh, a requirement it just uh, blanket will look uh, better uh, also you will use a little bit less wool if you're skipping the first stitch okay so you need to uh, know it because when you're knitting you need to have enough wool for the project for this blanket 30 by 50 we will be using uh, about four pounds of uh, merino wool and ivory okay guys so we have one two three four five five rows here and I will keep knitting the same way until I have 50 inches and then I will come back and show you what to do next okay guys we are ready we have uh, 50 inches uh, lengths and now I will show you how to cast off uh, also when you're knitting you can roll the blanket like that and this way uh, it will be in front of you see like that and uh, so for casting off you are taking the first stitch it's on your uh, hand then uh, working yarn on the back then you're adding the second one you have two stitches on your hand now you're grabbing working yarn and pull it through those two stitches 
Now, the same way with the other stitches. The stitch on your hand, add second one, crab walking yarn, pull it through. Keep uh, your hand inside the stitch, add another stitch, crab walking yarn, pull it through. Move your blanket and keep doing the same way, adding one stitch at a time and then knitting it until you're done with all the stitches and you have only one left. So here is the almost the end of our blanket. Here is our last stitch. So now you have one stitch left. You're pulling the yarn and you're inserting the tail inside, pulling it like this, and then we will weave in this end like this. So when you're done uh, weaving in the end, what I'm usually doing guys with merino wool and vegan yarn, I am strongly suggesting to use the felting mat and felting needle. Why? Because this way you can hide uh, this tail uh, nicely and it will not be getting out every time you're using the blanket. Okay, so here is the end uh, of the yarn. Uh, find the stitch on the back, hide this end underneath like that. And now use felting mat, place this yarn on the felting mat and use the needle. Be very careful, keep your fingers as far as you can not to poke it because these needles are very, very sharp. So this way you felted the end inside the wool and you will not see it and it will be holding very nicely here. And the same we will do with the other side of the blanket. Here is our uh, other end. So pull the yarn a little bit, making it thinner on the end. It will help to felt it better like this. And now use the same technique. Hide the tail or weave it uh, in on the back and then hide it behind any stitch you would like to. Like let's use this stitch. Now turn it, place it on the mat and felt it. Here it is. It's felted in. It's hidden on the back. See, it's very nicely uh, finished. You will not see it. It will not be getting out when you are using the blanket. So our blanket is ready, guys. Let me show you the size of it. So guys, here is the size of blanket that we did by 50. You can see that it will be covering your leg from the toes up to your waist area. So this is the size.